Jesus in Britain, not knowing how it affects you. The dictation by word for word from my ascended master twin flame, Andre, and among the Andromedans. Behind the scenes of the deep secret state attacking the beings of higher dimensions. By Christine Preston. This is a telepathic transmission taken down as a dictation, word for word, from my ascended twin flame, Andre. I want to apologize for not speaking at times. It's because we have been extra busy here. We have a situation of continuous attacks. How do they get an arsenal, you ask? These are not a weapons as have been known in history. They are a new type that use renewable energy, but although we could destroy this enemy, we have to operate according to the dictates of the law, however long it will take, and continue to sustain these attacks until they cease, because there has been a change at the mental level of these human beings. What do they believe, or think, we, the Andromedans of higher dimensions, are? You ask. That is a highly complicated question and matter. There is at the origin of the mindset in these humans, or at least those in power, who have a secret technology and act without the knowledge of mankind, an infiltration of dark power from the astral plane, strangely enough, very similarly as in the story of the master of the universe, with this character that invokes the power of the universe by calling, I am the power. The sci-fi depicts Skeletor, a figure of evil from another but lower dimension, attempting to conquer the higher dimension. The plot and idea is strangely enough, something that occurred when or before the world was recreated from Tiamat, the name for Earth before it was terraformed, so to speak, because Lord Brahmin Sanam Kumara offered to function as its logos. It was due to be destroyed since its entities had such a project of invasion and of destruction. Archangel Michael waged a war against the network of those forces of evil. In the Babylonian tale, Tiamat is the demon Tiamat. You have worked out that Marduk is the equivalent of Archangel Michael in this myth. He sealed the lower dimensions to make it impossible for the forces of darkness to infiltrate the higher ones. They were furious. The idea of an Archangel called Lucifer who would have rebelled and become the adversary of man and God, is a half-truth. The theologians who theorized this, with the idea of a fall by pride, is erroneous. What happened is that these entities had cut themselves off from their higher selves, a long time, millions of years before they acquired the dangerous technology for invasions. Human beings have higher selves that are a manifestation of the consciousness of the Logos. There cannot be consciousness except by the fact that the Logos projects its own con consciousness and gift of life in the lower dimensions. But the lower dimensions were created by, let's call it, the going astray of life or beings in the matter world and I mean the matter of higher frequency of higher dimensions was solidified and lowered throughout time. This hides a clue to the origin of the world. It was not by a big bang, but an involution, an externalization and solidification from the astral realm for instance. The path of righteousness recreates an ascension to higher realms, not just in a personal way for any particular soul, but by raising up all of the world back up higher the ladder of the dimensions, like in the metaphorical climbing of a mountain one has descended from. The Master Jesus did say it was his plan to lift up, raise the whole world and even the galaxy to a higher level out of the grip of evil. So, when Archangel Michael created chasms to separate the realms or dimensions securely, the result was that ascension was the only means for souls to return to the higher dimensions that Christians call heaven. Karma had to be transmuted as well, so evolutions were locked upon the lower dimensions and the physical realm for many ages. During the Atlantean era, the cause of the disasters that were unleashed at the end of that age was the turn that history took as a result of the fact that Nephilim entities or fallen ones, those evil or demonic spirits from Tiamat, had to be allowed to incarnate among the other souls and root races that were brought together for the creation of the fifth root race, called Baryan. Because in the Vedic tale, that is parallel to the Flood 1 of Genesis, the Manu who escapes and survives the 
Universal Flooding has seven sons called Sages and Arya. The initiators of the Lemurian era depicted with a third eye, as the third root race, had the mission of creating the fifth root race with the particular quantum DNA that they manifested when they created bodies for themselves as they were self-born. Adam also was but is depicted in Genesis as being created by God. The figure of Adam represents, or epitomizes, the sons of God and they were not as the exegetes of Genesis, those followers of the fallen angel theory, have their eyes, nor like scribes that added material to the book of Enoch, misinterpreted, using the term watchers. The fallen angel theory existed before Christ and his followers, including Peter, adhered to it, but they were mistaken, and there is no record of a confrontation by Christ on this matter. There are some notions in the New Testament that are erroneous and contradictive, because of this. If the Church of Rome ever did anything good, it is the interpretation of Genesis 6 that is called the Sethian theory, that a theologian by the name of Julius Africanus arrived at by 200 AD, as he put the fallen angel theory at rest for a few centuries. The book of Enoch that has touched the heart of so many Christians, because within it is a plagiarized copy of the teachings of Hermes Trismegistus, unfortunately contains falsities. The Church of Rome put this book out of circulation for that reason and it is known to be generic. That means written by many authors. It has been recovered from Ethiopia, as you know. What many people ignore is the fact that Augustine of Hippo did not make the Book of Enoch canonical because of the discrepancy it contains as it portrays the Watchers as evil and the Church viewed the sons of God, their equivalent, as the sons of Seth, the third son of Adam. He did not realize that the sons of God are epitomized by Adam himself and that both have no human parents. That is why the term sons of God was used and it is necessary to go back to the evidence provided, as you point out in chapter 6 of your book, that is an exegesis for Genesis 6, and the fact that some ancient classical authors stated that the initiators that instructed the ancestors of the Atlanteans were self-born. It also is necessary to tie the sons of God of Genesis with those initiators to obtain a clue as to what occurred in that primordial time. Then you also have to tie Hermes Trismegistus teachings and information from theosophy to arrive at the conclusions explained in Beyond the Veil of the Lost Holy Grail and Church of Avalon. You also need the correct interpretation for chapter 12 and 20 of the book of Revelation supported by some statements in the book of Enoch in relation to the binding by Archangel Michael of what Genesis 6 refers to as the Nephilim, fallen ones. However, only a few among the progeny of the sons of God created such a corruption in the old world that the process of ascension had to be aborted. They had taken incarnation among the offspring of the intermarriages between the third root race and the fourth Atlantean root race. The fallen ones were these entities that the book of Revelation calls the Red Dragon. Catholicism recognizes it as Satan but did not reveal that it incarnated and became human. It's been hidden from the dogma where the book of Revelation states the dead lived not again. Theologians found a way to hide the fact by saying that the dead are the saints who will be resurrecting. There. Notion of a resurrection of saints is pure theory and based upon a misinterpretation of scripture. They did not understand reincarnation. The dead are the dead in spirit. They added a sentence in the book of Revelation that appears as an explanation to the statement that the dead lived not again. The misinterpretations and alterations of the original records that were used to create the canonical scripture are so numerous that Christians are not on the pathway that leads to liberation, but one that causes many nations to be besieged by the dragon of control, and it leads them to a nightmarish existence after life in a sort of twilight zone. It is important that truth be restored in, in this age of the apocalypse, revelation, when there is a window of opportunity for that. You are asking whether it's important for the mindset of the holders of a secret technology to change so that they will stop attacking the ambassadors of higher dimensions. And whether there are other causes. As you know, this is but part of the whole equation because Christians are a great majority in the world and the Church of Rome erased the teachings related to the I am presence or spirit within, as well as the higher self. But the battle has been waged for this since the 1960s in particular, with an import of ideas and philosophy from the East that even started with the Beatles, and perhaps Lobsang Rampa, and before that with Theosophy, followed by the teachings of the Master Dejil Call through Alice Bailey, and many others, then the I Am activity of Guy Ballard, and the Summit Lighthouse and the many who forked out of the earlier groups. 
it all blossomed into a worldwide spiritual movement inspired by channeling and side by side with the New Age movement. There are other fields that research the various secrets of the enormous conspiracy of deception and silence, that is what we call the evil pyramid of control. The agenda of the dark was to keep mankind uninformed and in the false interpretations that are religious. But now is a time when they have had no choice and had to act in ways that reveal their presence with the effect of a wake-up call for mankind and the sons of the light who have been blind or had not the eyes to see, nor the ears to hear, these truths, that they called conspiracy theories. They were asleep in the comfort of materialism on the globe earth at the edge of their galaxy, and now are awakening to a truth that unveils they are central to creation upon a realm and a world that is not only multidimensional but is a larger realm than they have been told. Not only is it larger, but it does not have the shape that is convenient to the full space program and conditions that would have converted mankind to believe that ambassadors of the realm of light are malevolent aliens appearing with an intention of destruction, at the time of the second coming of the initiators. It would have been as in the plot of the movie Independence Day. The dragon of control would then have been able to tell a lie and create false attacks with their blue beam technology to justify their attack of the peaceful envoys or brigades of higher dimensions. That dragon had set up the matrix of control or of beliefs to deceive mankind for what would then be an apocalyptical event, this term means end of times or eschatological event meaning end of times. But mark my words, the book of Revelation does not tell a tale of an end of the world, but one of an end of evil. The book of Enoch also does speak of a time when mankind will be able to have access to the tree of life. It is said in metaphorical terms but relates to inner powers and a transfiguration of humanity in terms of the physical structure it inhabits. There will be a shift, and when it is sufficiently deserving by a conversion in higher consciousness, being up on the fifth dimension in consciousness, and after changes in the DNA, some of which have already occurred since the time of Abraham, for a particular bloodline and the descendants of the lost tribes of Israel, and of the souls incarnated in them. The initiators will descend and assist with the transformation of the mindset as it relates to the etheric body and mental changes necessary. For the physical transfiguration that forms part of the divine plan. It is by this conversion of the mindset that is necessary due to the amount of absence of knowledge, as well as humanity's reliance on ancient scripture, that evil is being removed. People are placing themselves in a time loop of concepts that are the result of an ancient state of mentality when mankind did not have the capabilities for higher consciousness. They are sometime in bondage to a dogma imagining it would be disloyal to Christ if they studied the teachings of modern times obtained by telepathic communication. But the fact this method was in use in the tradition of the prophets of Israel for instance, has been hidden. For more I recommend listening to Archangel Michael's dictation if we appear on Channel Ascension.